what's up everybody welcome back to the channel so midweek um i haven't had a lot of opportunities to um, work on stuff uh we i had my last weekend i had my model club meeting um and then a full day of doing yard work and then uh, monday we recorded the podcast after work uh and then yesterday um i had to go down to uh about an hour away uh, to swap my truck with a buddy's SUV uh, because tomorrow um, we're going to pick up my daughter and my grandson and their cat at the uh, airport in Boston. Uh, they are moving home. Um, if you know the situation, you know that I have a daughter that's lived out in Colorado for the past six years. Her husband was um, actually stationed out there and his enlistment is up and uh they're coming home so it's been a, it's been a very busy week anyway um i haven't had a lot of opportunities to work on stuff and it's going to continue to kind of be a busy week uh only because um like i said tomorrow i'm on the road almost all day getting them home and situated and then friday starts the 48 hour group build so which i fully intend to participate in that and then that is going to keep my weekend tied up. So at least I'll get something built, I guess. Uh, but the reason I'm doing this video is because I have accumulated a good size pile of kits um, that I've either acquired from friends or through trade or that were gifted to me. Um, so I want to show you guys these kits and specifically open one of them uh which is good which is really cool so um i don't know let's just get go let's just get going uh so let's see uh the first kit was a trade I, I made a trade with my good buddy tim um for this kit because uh i need it for um a 3d printed uh mini truck chassis that i happen to have so, uh, that would be this kit. We acquired this kit from Tim. Um, worked out a really good trade. Thank you, Tim. Uh, so this will sit in the stash for a little while until we get prepared to build uh, that uh, mini truck chassis, which I'm super stoked on. Super stoked. I did a video just a few videos ago, actually, um, showing you guys the VCG resins uh, prototype lowered mini truck chassis that's what this kit is for so um yeah so i'm just happy to have that uh and then tim gifted me this because he thought it would be cool to go with my garage diorama which is now up there um so that's cool thank you tim i appreciate that buddy i really really do now uh let's see here this is kind of in a weird um sort of pile so some of these kits i'm gonna have to well, let's do i guess let's do this so um funny story i was digging through my wallet last week or well, the week before looking for an insurance card or something like that right and i'm digging through my wallet and i'm throwing the stuff on the kitchen counter and there's a hobby lobby gift card in there and i throw i'm like where would that even come from that's got to be old it's got to be um so heather being the smart person she is she scoops it up and gets online and it was brand new never used <laughs> i don't so um and it's been in there a while anyway so i went to hobby lobby and i picked up a couple of kits i picked up this kit because i didn't have it um and i've seen a lot of cool uh aftermarket stuff coming for this kit coming out so i thought you know what i, I do have to build that I do. So there's that. I picked that up at Hobby Lobby. And then I got this kit because I had this kit and Ryan stole this kit from me and built it. Um, and he his came out amazing. Um, we joke that this is Ryan's favorite hobby shop because everything is in his budget. Anyway, so I got this. Um, this is really cool. Iceman Collections has a nice wide body kit for this. So I'm thinking that I might try to pick that up 
soon. And then uh, we're going to build that. So that's cool. Um, and then, uh, let's see. Uh, John Davidson, club member and friend of mine, um, gifted me this kit the other day at the... Uh, at the model club meeting which is cool still sealed um gotta love those pro stocks gotta love them so that's a cool kit to add to the stash thank you john appreciate that uh oh excuse me i picked up this kit from another friend of mine uh, we worked out a trade for this this is pretty cool i didn't i've never had this kit and i don't it's going to be cool to have in the stash. Um, and BG and I were discussing what would be cool to do with this kit. Um, Two-door wagon, like safari-style wagon, if you could make it that, custom-make that. Or uh, kit bash it with a Pro Stock chassis. When was the last time you saw a Pro Stock Edsel? Uh, never. So that's cool. I picked that up. Never had this kit before, never built it. So this is nice to have in the stash. Now, my good buddy, the outlaw, Mike, from uh, Minis Scale Auctions, uh, he hand-delivered these kits through another good buddy of mine, Jeff Elliott. Um, so, Mike came up and, and he hung out for a while and, and visited, and uh, we had a good time, and I had bought some kits from him that um, he's like, save the shipping, I'm coming up anyway, and then he never ended up, we came up, but he couldn't bring the kits up. It's kind of a long, convoluted story, but regardless, uh, he was able to meet up with Jeff Elliott and give him the kits. Jeff Elliott was nice enough to pass them along to me. So, first one in that pile is Honda Civic. That's cool. That's a cool kit. That's going to go right in the pile, and uh, yeah, happy to have that. Next... Uh, this would be a good candidate for that Edsel swap. Um, Motocraft Thunderbird Pro Stock. That's really cool. Uh, I have a newer version of this kit, but I do not have this older body style with the square scoop. So that's cool to have. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate, appreciate that. And then uh, last from Mike is this awesome kit. This is the Hasegawa Saber Mercedes C9. Um, this is a cool kit. The decals are not that good, but that's okay. Uh, there's lots of aftermarket decals for these cars. Um, this is pretty cool. This is a neat kit. Uh, if you open it up, um, everything's still is the body. She's still uh, still in the in the uh, plastic, and it's black. So, car is going to be black. So that kind of works out. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's awesome to have in the stash. So thank you, Mike. Appreciate that. Struck as I'm struggling to get the box lid back on. So there's that kit. Um, then oh yeah, I forgot. Tim also, Tim Ryan also gifted me this kit, which is really sweet. Suzuki Samurai. This is a Fujimi kit. That's really cool. That's really cool. So thank you, Tim. Again, I forgot about that one. And then this kit. This is I'm I'm really excited about this kit. I I was able to uh, win this kit in the raffle um, at my club meeting. So that's really badass. Um, Ravel Classics Series. Can you see that? That's a cool kit right there. Mercedes 300 SLR. That's a cool kit. So, I'm really happy to have this. And again, talking to BG about it, he told me that uh, this is a really nice kit. Builds up very nicely. So, that's cool. Now, um, the kit I'm, we're going to open up and take a look at. Um, I was very happy to get a hold of this kit. It is just released from Tamiya. 
in stores now. Uh, I know for a fact, or at least it, he did, <laughs> Uh, Hobby Nut has this kit in stock. So if you want this kit, um, there's a link in the description of the video. Click it. It'll bring you right to his website. And um, I believe he still has these in stock. But the Alfa Romeo Giulia Sprint GTA. Uh, I am super excited about this kit. I, I am thinking that I might, once I finish up the projects that I'm working on, um, I might push this to the front of the line. That's a really cool kit. And we're going to open this up right now and take a look at it. So, let's do that. I have not seen inside this box yet. I just know that these kits were getting harder to, hard to come by and expensive on the Evil Bays. Uh... And I, I was like, nah. And then I heard rumor that they were releasing it or re-releasing it again. And I'm glad I was able to hold out and get one. To me, to me is plastic. Which, to me, a box is... Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. A lot of to me, a boxes don't come wrapped in plastic. Or do they? I don't remember. Maybe they do. All right. So, let's look at this. All right, molded, molded in red. Molded in red, but that is such a cool little body style car. Oh my gosh, uh, I'm so happy to have this, this kit. You got some screen mesh, uh, your little rubber tires in there. I don't want to open the plastic stuff yet, but uh, your chrome tree with the bumpers and grill and hub, uh, headlight buckets and mirrors and uh, door handles, all that stuff. That's cool. Um, okay, I was right. Fantastic. Here's your glass. Very cool. Here is a uh, hood, seats, undercarriage, dashboard, door panels, uh, all that stuff there. That's pretty neat. Uh, so this is also molded in two colors, and I'm happy to say, I, was, I, I knew it was, but I w wanted to double check. It is a full detail kit. So you've got a full engine, disc brakes, full engine. Uh, wheels are molded in this gray color. I don't think I'm going to use these wheels, to be honest with you. I got other plans. So, that's cool. Um, let's look in here for what I think. Let's see if it's instructions. Yep, there they go. On the floor. Anyway, yes, cool. So this has photo etch and window masks, which is awesome. That is awesome. And a decal sheet in there too. But I wanted to make sure it had window masks, and it does. That's very cool. Um, typical Tamiya instructions. Uh, the window masks. Putting it together, glass goes in outside and inside, uh, full detail engine, <coughs> easy to assemble suspension. Now what's funny is this thing has the ability, it comes with custom decals. And you can build it. What do they call this thing? It's like a street custom, I think is what they call it. Basically, it's just decals and you leave the bumpers off. But, um, yeah. So this is cool. I am happy to have this kit. Uh, like I said, I've been... It's kind of not what you think about a typical kit that I would like, but... Um, I have 
sort of lusted over this kit in the past and was very excited when I heard that they were going to repop it and it looks amazing and I'm glad I was able to get a hold of it before it sold out so um yeah let me see if I can find it on the box what they what how they refer to this thing you can build it uh Online, it's listed like two-in-one street custom or some kind of crazy thing, I guess. Uh, but basically what it is, is this is the stock version, okay? Pretty cool. And this is the street version. Yeah, you leave the bumpers off of it and you paint the front lower balance yellow. I don't know. But anyways, uh, so yes. Uh, like I said, go over to Hobby Nut. He had these in stock. Um, matter of fact, I looked again this morning and I, they were there. So go over to Hobby Nut and grab one of these. You will not regret it. Trust me. Um, and that's all I got for you. So cool pile of kits added to the stash. Uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for everything you guys do. Uh, you guys are awesome. I really, truly appreciate it. Um, and again, uh, I did start my own Facebook page, uh, or group, um, which is doing really well. We're like up over 130 people joined so far, which is crazy. So thank you. I really appreciate that. If you haven't joined and you do have a Facebook, go over and check it out. Um, it's open to all modeling genres, okay? So I, yes, I'm mainly a car guy, but I love um, all models, planes, tanks, figures, spaceships. I love it all, and I want to see it all. So, um, and we might actually start building some, some stuff other than cars here on the channel eventually, probably. Yeah, most likely. Anyway, so... Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, I think the next time you'll see me will be Friday when we kick off that 48-hour group build. Um, until then, enjoy your week. Try to stay cool if you can. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.